What's up fam, how you doing? Glad you're here. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button, go ahead and click subscribe. And if it's not there, it's gonna be down in the uh, description. So, you clicked on it because you want to see how to build a squirrel picnic table. Shame on, no, I'm joking. Way to go. So they are pretty cool, they are fun, and surprisingly, they sell like crazy. Um, I've seen them built for the last three or four months, decided I wasn't gonna do it, but we are running a small business. We're, we're upgrading the business. Look up. Right here. Look there. Back here. We're upgrading everything in here. Trying to, because we're trying to become more efficient for you. Maybe not you, hopefully you. Messages, if you want something done. Circleinfurnishings.com. Right here, Cir circleinfurnishings.com. Hopefully I can get that to work. If it doesn't, it'll just go boop. Cool enough. Sorry for the rambling. We are mom, dad, and the girls. We're our family vlogging channel. We do a little bit of everything, but right now we are focused on growing and building our business. Uh, so like I said, we had to rewire the shop because we upgraded all this stuff. And we can't print money because that's not the business we're in. Um, so next best thing, squirrel picnic tables. You want one, you want to know how to build one. I want to show you how easy it is. Um, I've built more than I can count on these things. And like I said, they sell really, really well. Average cost of these uh, to sell is about 23 to $28. Uh, I'm selling some for 25, I'm selling some for 35, pressure treated and stained and Thompson's water sealed and plain and however you want, I'll make it, I'll sell it. Uh, but you're watching this to learn how to make it, so let's jump into it real quick. For the cutlass you're going to need, I use, uh, right now we're going to run pressure treated because this is the order I received. Um, so I use simple, these are drywall furring strips. They're nice because they're flat, they're square. Uh, if you get time to go through them, make sure they're not too wonky, obviously. Uh, I also use some simple one by two um, and just your square edge pine to build it as well. I got a couple other ideas. I have some friends I'm gonna give a couple to, but they're gonna get the ones that I am gonna tinker with and try to change the design from what I'm getting ready to show you. If that design works, probably in a couple of months, if I get around to it, you'll be able to click here for that video. If nothing popped up here, well, that scroll tape never got made. Here is the cut list right now. There you go. Hopefully you wrote that down. If not, pause this, go back, look at it again, but pause it this time on the picture. All right, so we got your cut list all laid out. Here are our four uh, five inch legs. Guess what? I totally forgot to miter those. So we're gonna miter them. I told her I was done with the salt, but I lied. We're gonna do miters on these. Uh, you're gonna do a 22.5 degree miter this way, flip it, spin it that way. I'll show you on here. Over my shoulder. Like I said, it's gonna be 22.5 degrees from the corner back. Flip it, put that side against your fence, 22 degrees from that corner back. If you're using the rounded furring strips that you get, uh, you're gonna to need to switch your miter back. So I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Um, now, we're done with that. Easiest thing to do is like to grab a level. When we're doing a big order of them, uh, we even have a full table length level that's just clamped and we're just assembling the line and knocking it out. But I'm just doing this one because I'm wore out. We just installed these two doors. So we knocked those out today. Just did a senior parade. Congrats to all the seniors in our neighborhood. Way to go, class of 2020. Proud of you guys. Um, so I'm wore out. I'm tired. A little wire. What is it? What's it going to be Do it. No, you do it now. You ready? No. Set. No, I messed it up. You ready? Three, two, one, and you go. I'm a little tired and a little wired. <laughs> a little 
tired, I'm a little wired, and I think I deserve a little appreciation. <laughs> All right, so the easiest thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a quick little 24 inch stem level, had this level forever. Throw it on your table. If you wanna get precise, you can go ahead and knock it out, put a couple clamps on it. I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna use baby Dewalt's. She's falling around here, that's weird. People are getting seasick, son. Just to hold it from moving. These guys are like watching the Wood Whisperer and stuff, and they came across this channel. They're like, "What in the world?" Is it? <laughs> Sorry, no power Matic stuff. My bad, guys. No, uh, no sponsored videos yet. All right. So take your miter blocks. Come over here with my sword. You good? Take your miter blocks. Well, that's not gonna work for a table. That's not gonna work, but you know what? Boom, just like that, lay it out, done. Take this one, just like that, boom, lay it out. Everyone wants to get crazy, try to figure out exactly how they're gonna put these two 11 inch table braces. Boom, lay that there, perfect height, done. So you grab your nailer. I am using one inch, 18 gauge, Brad nails. No, yeah, Brad for most of this construction. That and a little Type on 2. If you got Type on 3, even better. Type on 2 is the minimal that I would go. It's what I have in the shop for everything until I start building cutting boards, that is. A little dab of glue here. Boop. A little dab of glue there. Boop. Because the glue is what's going to hold this together. The, uh, the nails are just going to act as a, a temporary clamp, basically, to get that glue set. Boop, boop, boop. That and measure your distance just to make sure you're good. That one looks pretty good to me. That one's way off. See, you gotta fix things like that. So I get paid the big bucks, guys. Almost done. Usually we have it measured in the middle, but my wife did not jump on the bandwagon and knock that out for me today. Don't know what happened with that, but yeah. Boom. See? Nice. Pretty flush. I like it. You like it. Wrong gun. There we go. Hold it in the middle. Press it flat. Quick little. little. That's all it takes. That's for you, Simmons. That easy, buddy. If you're watching, put a comment down below if you're going to build one. It's a great Mother's Day gift, but you only got less than. Well, this probably won't even post before Mother's Day. Looks good to me, looks good to you. Little boom, boom, boom. And you're done with that. Like that, your legs are done. Your legs are done. That is the importance of checking your nail gun before you start a project. Have it to everybody. Make sure you got nails and nail guns so you don't waste precious time. I am a huge fan of not wasting time, but I just wasted mine and yours. My apologies. Let's knock this back out. We're going to do it a second time for you slower people in the back. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. There we go. Again, I was one of the slower ones there in the back. Gonna redo this. Dab more glue. Dab more glue. A little bit more glue. A little bit more glue. Set it down. I guess I was too worried about talking. Not enough about building. Yeah, it ain't done. Try one more time with nails. And boom! It won't fall apart. I did mention I was tired, right? I did mention that. And boom, it won't fall apart. Make sure you take your finger or a rag and clean up any of that excess glue because it's going to turn yellow and nasty and you know, we don't want to deal with all that, especially if you're going to sell them. Now, with the pressure treated, I don't sand these down as much, um, but when it comes to the pine, I sand those bad boys down quite a bit. Tabletop assembly, 
pretty quick and easy. Um, I use a couple. I'm done. Sometimes the spacers don't work like you're thinking. Like I said, tired. Probably cut that over by an eighth of an inch. But now the scroll's got a little bigger of a tabletop. Again, let your glue dry. Don't mess with it. It'll be just fine. Next, we're gonna knock out legs. So the easiest way to build your legs, or to build your table legs, is you have your bench seats that you cut out. These are gonna be your nine inch bench seats. Take them, set them down, make sure they're nice and flush. Take two, remove them. Take your one, now you want this to be on the inside. So spin it and set it right like this. You watching? Boom. And that right there will support it. And you take your next one, make sure it's on the inside and you set it right back here. Boom, to support it. Again, a little dab of glue, a little dab of glue. Take your bench seat, set it right on there. You may have to bring it in some just to get it a little bit level. You want the bench seat to stick out just past your little legs. Give it a little bit of a gap just to make it look pretty. Take your nail gun and stick it with a one, two. See about a finger length, go back here. Finger length or so, or finger width, I guess. So, even, even. Oh, nope, that bounced away, didn't it? So that just passed away. Next one. Compressor had to refill. It's only a small one. If you want me to buy a large one, I'll give you a PayPal address. Sorry. <laughs> All right, boom, and it stands by itself. And it's kind of square, crazy to think. All right, next, a little bit of glue on the end, a little bit of glue on the end, lay it down, eyeball it level. You gonna sneeze? Uh oh. Of course, now I'm not, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sink it right here at the end. I'll only do one. Like I said, that nail isn't doing nothing that the glue won't trump. Maybe I can't say that word anymore. I don't know. <laughs> and then a little boom, boom, a little more. Lay it down. Eyeball it, get it level. Make sure everything is about the same as far as proportion goes. Oh, see? Press into the glue a little, and it'll, the glue will give it a little bit, a little bit of biting power for you. Push down. Oh, no, you thought. Almost, no, uh-uh. Definitely be careful of those levels coming out. Make sure you're using the appropriate size nails for your job. Done. See how easy that was? Next, we're moving on to what? 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 The tabletop. Boom, see, it's done. I feel like the guy uh, that used to advertise like the ShamWow. Mm-hmm. And the Slap Chop. <laughs> Love my nuts. Sorry. All right, a little bit of glue just across here. More across here. If they're getting a little wonky on your levels, you can just bend them around and get them where they need to be. So now make it look nice and pretty. And here's where the fun part comes in. For this, I like to use a couple inch and three quarter 18 gauge brad nails. I found the 16 gauge likes to split the wood and I'll use it when I have to. So what you do is you get it where you want it, 
finger width, but a fingertip underneath, fingertip this way. Make sure you're gonna be the same. If you want, you can measure this, but again, I built enough of these to where I don't have to worry about that. Take this, and on the edge, it's gonna go into the long part of the wood. So on the edge right here, that's where you're gonna drive your inch and three quarter, 16 gauge brad nails. Same thing on the edge of that wood, and on the edge of that one. That way you don't have to worry about them blowing out on the bottoms because again, you live and learn, been there, done that. I switched back to my one inch 18 gauge brad nails. I then sink two right into the corners of that piece of wood. Make sure your gaps look good and sink it there and there. All right, so we're done with that. Your table is almost done. All you gotta do now, I like to countersink a hole right here for a three and a half inch nail, or screw, sorry. Uh, put a little bit of glue on it and you're done. And then you got your backer. So I'm gonna go put the backer on and I'll put the nail on and the screw on, put my business card on it. And this will be wrapped up. So let's go put the back on. Again, bring it back to your level workstation and take it all down because it does you no good right now. What you want is to grab you a spare piece of your one by. And since we're here, I was gonna show you what I mean. On this one, if you're gonna use this type of lumber, this type of wood, it's gonna have a bevel on it. So when you miter it, you're gonna have to miter two to this miter and two to the other one. Does that make sense? Probably not. You'll figure it out when you get there and they don't line up. But you just have to miter this side this way, flip your miter saw, miter this side this way, so your bevels all look right. I'll show you. If you don't flip the miter, you're gonna have the round side for one and the square back for the other and it won't look uniform. Like I said, you're gonna do it and you're gonna mess up and you're gonna realize, ah, that's what he meant and that's what I meant. But you know what? I didn't learn as I did it. All right, so let's knock this out. Again, grab another piece of your square one by two stock, bring it over here. here. We're using one by four pressure treating. I use one by four for all of it. Uh, we're gonna put it right here on top of that. Easiest thing to do, run just a little bit of glue right here. Oh, you want to put the backer toward the side that's closest to your center guard or your center support. Because it just looks better. All right, so we're gonna switch over from the 18 gauge brad nailer to a 16 gauge finish nailer. I think we're gonna rock with, let's do some two inch nails. Well, no, I think we're gonna be good with this. So we're gonna do inch and a half, 18 gauge brad nails. Take this, position it right here, get your glue on it, make sure it's level, flush, again, about a thumb for me on either side. And if you're good, you just take this bad boy right like so and you run it right in. Sorry, that was probably loud on my camera. And you run it right in. And you're done. Um, so what I've realized like, is if you're gonna run the brad nails to that side, use, no, I'm sorry. If you're gonna use finish nails for that side, you're gonna use 18 gauge nails in the middle, Switch back over to your longer, um, I'm sorry, I am super tired. My apology, guys. If you're gonna use 16 gauge nails in the middle that are an inch and a half to two inches long, switch to your uh, 18 gauge nails that are about an inch and three quarters or less on this side, because they tend to curve out right there. Um, I don't know why, I don't know something I'm doing, but like I said, that's been what's been going on for, for me when I build these. But as you see, no nails came through. Nothing looks crazy. And it's pretty secure, but again, don't, you can come here. Do not stress your glue joints for at least 30 minutes to 24 hours. Uh, once that glue joint is tight, I promise you it's gonna take a whole bunch of squirrels to break it. Because I've held it against me while my wife pulled it, and that bad boy's not coming off. We're gonna run our screw, and then we're gonna go inside, take a shower, and I am going to relax. Put it right in the middle here, and then 
bring it back off your block or your table, wherever you're at. A nice neat hole. I then grab the impact driver real quick, just because it's here in front of me. I am using um, T25 construction screws, so therefore I have to use the star bit. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, because I am using these screws, I do like to run it through a few pieces of wood because it does have that pull tight little shank thing that I can't think, I'm not thinking right now. Enjoy guys. Fill the hole with glue, take this, start it up, pick it up off the table because you're going to go through it and ready, set, there you go. Boom. There is your fully done squirrel table. What we do, we take a glob of hot glue, put it here, run a bead down, bang, with a business card. You wanna see it? There you go. Boom, there you go. Now go check out circleandfurnishings.com, like our Facebook page, be sure to follow all of our social media. Uh, and thanks for watching mom, dad, and the girls. Probably gonna do a video of this next. Someone threw that out in our neighborhood. Uh, literally, like drove by and just threw it out in bits and pieces as they drove through the main street of our neighborhood. Uh, so I drove by and picked it all up. We're going to make it a bench. We're going to make some money off of their trash. So, uh, again, thanks, guys, for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, let's see some pictures of your scroll tables. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle logo right here. Also, check out the newest vlog we just uploaded. If you've already seen that one, we picked out a special one just for you. So go ahead and give that one a watch. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you watching. At the end of our videos, we always say peace.